how to reach your full potential with Dr. Chris Zeno. Man, this is about to be some fire. What is up, Underdog Nation? My name is Zachary Babcock. This is a channel where we talk about how to level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs to completely, rapidly scale their business to six and seven figures without the stress, overwhelm, and frustration of trial and error. And if this is your first time here, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification. That way, you don't miss anything, and we're getting started right now. My name is Zachary Babcock. Let's put it this way. What if – see, this is where Zach's so right about taking responsibility. What if I do the surgery? So what if I did that? What if I took the other option? I would have been sick, dead, divorced because, I mean, when you feel like shit, like and depressed, do you think your wife's really going to take too much of that? I would have never had kids. Oh, let's just think. I would have been in medical debt. I would have been a victim. And here's the scary part, guys. If I never – did the choice I did to get well and change my life to take responsibility, I would have lived this life of sickness, disease, medical debt. And here's the, here's what scares me for myself every time I talk about this and scares the hell out of me for you. I never would have known the difference. Like the life I'm living now, I never would have known any different. So I wouldn't have known who my son Justice was. I wouldn't have known who my son Titus is. Like I would like, do you understand? I wouldn't have known you guys that I'm talking to. I wouldn't have known exactly. Like, do you understand like your life, the, the 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 potential of the life you were actually created to live and reach? You could you could make a choice and you would never have known any difference. So therefore, therefore you couldn't mourn what you never experienced. But in my life, looking back in hindsight, going, wow, I was so close to making a decision or not making a decision, that would have like it's it just it drives me insane knowing that the choice we do make could totally uh if it's the right choice it could totally give you the most amazing life or you could make a choice and the life you were created to live would have never happened and be, because it never would have happened you just wouldn't have known any different but man the life you could have had because if you, you just would have made a proper choice man chris dude i'm sitting here like got goosebumps and that's no bullshit i'm not no <laughs> like sitting here just listening it's like it's crazy man it's a true words of a true champion uh a true superhero man what's what's the first step for the underdog entrepreneur that's listening in right now man that may haven't fully stepped into their true potential you know like what's the first step that that they take well number one you got to embrace your hero mindset that's one of the things which is like you have to literally audit your life and and you know you, you're gonna know right now i'm talking to you if you feel numb if you feel disengaged if you feel depressed if you feel uh, unmotivated and heavy, just notice the words I'm saying, heavy, depressed, like uh, um, you're living out somebody else's values. You're not in your lane. And you gotta, when you look at life, like you might be married now, and I'm not, I'm not against relationship, but you might be married now. You might be in a job now. You might have got an education because other people wanted you to, and no one gave you the opportunity, and you never gave yourself the chance to say, what do I really want to do with my life? Hey, Zach, one of the greatest things that happened to you is um, – Going through your experience in prison, it forced you to say, hey, listen, it, it, it almost kicked you out of the, 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 the regular institutionalized system of this country where you had to make it for your own. So it, it, almost, it was almost – I see it as an advantage. You know, Everything is an advantage in your life, guys. And uh, a lot of times the reason why you're not feeling excited about life or fulfilled is because you're not doing really what you're created to do. And so, number one, you got to embrace that. Say, listen, what do I want to do? Because here's the deal, guys. In five years, you're going to be, you're going to arrive somewhere. But the the answer is where, right? So if you're afraid to get started, or you I don't want what's going to happen, or what if I do this, and what happens if it doesn't work out? It's like five to ten years is still going by. So you get to either use those five to ten years to learn and do what you love to do, or you could sit back in, in that comfort torment, getting those benefits, being unfulfilled, being unhappy, and just watching your potential go by, and, arrive, and then five or ten years from now, be telling yourself, wow, now I'm too old to start something new, right? So that's why you gotta go after the thing that gives you juice, that, that gives you excitement. So what I love about this is potential, man. So many, it's a shame because I wasn't living my potential for so long and so many of us are not living our potential. Um, now, most underdog entrepreneurs are stepping into that, right? But you, you, like Chris says, you really got to think about like, well, what is it that I want to do the most and what is it that, that I'm called upon to do? And 
and you gotta go out and do it. And here's some practical tips on how to actually make that happen, because that could be kind of rah rah, um, <laughs> woo woo, whatever you wanna call it. Um, the practical substance, man, literally, like, get out a paper and pen and write down all the things that you wanna do in life, that you want, that your heart desires, that you're called upon doing and get crystal clear in every single aspect and area of your life with your relationships with your business career economical goals your toys and adventure goals things that you want to own uh, places you want to go and visit things that you activities you want to do when you visit them and your contributions what kind of contribution you want to leave in the world what kind of legacy you want to create write it down get crystal clear this is going to evolve over time and you're going to add new things and you're going to find out things that you're like ah, i just don't want that anymore but write out what it is that you want to do and what you feel compelled to and then make a vision board Make visual representations, seeing yourself feel how it feel if, if you had already accomplished that. Then you wanna make out, that's step number one, then you wanna make out a plan. How are you actually gonna get there? What are all the milestones you need to hit? What are the resources you need? Break it down all the way down to the very next step that you could take right now without all the plans and resources. What's the next thing you could do that will bring you one step closer to making that a reality? Then third, go out and do it and then keep on doing it if it fails. And if it fails over and over again, well that's called insanity, expecting different results. Change the plan, change the approach, but don't change the goal unless it becomes no longer desired and, no, and it's not compelling anymore. That's a simple process to make it happen. If you want a simple process to quickly ramp up your business to six and seven figures as an underdog entrepreneur without the stress, overwhelm, and frustration of trial and error, make sure you download the Growth Engine Blueprint. I got it linked up in the description below. I got video tutorials and worksheets that you could fill out that's gonna help you. It's gonna explain exactly what a Growth Engine Blueprint is, which is how to attract your ideal high paying customers, how to craft compelling offers that they want or willing to pull out their credit card and buy, how to publish engaging content that gets them into your funnel and how to send them along a customer journey, AKA what I call a customer path or a relationship path that builds interest over time and how to structure your nested offer design to optimize your revenue and your impact and income. Um, yeah, and if you want to check out this full interview, which was incredible with Dr. Chris Zeno, 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 it's in the uh, in the description below. If you're an iTunes user, get a link for that. If you're an uh, Android uh, user, get a link for that. And if you want to check it out on underdogempowerment.com, there's a link for that as well. If you want to check out more videos that are going to help you reach your potential and scale your business six and seven figures, be sure to check out this playlist right there. That is definitely some fire. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything if you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur once again my name is zachary babcock thank you so much for checking this out and i will see you on the next video i can't wait to see you win as an underdog entrepreneur we put them hours in to bring them dollars in uh, this that underdog empowerment we put them hours in to bring them dollars in my name is zachary babcock